my channel welcome to today's video today is saturday hope everyone is doing great i have a lot to do today so i'm gonna do a busy day in life with me got a lot to get organized uh i don't know if i'll get any organizing done on this video but we'll see um it's close to lunch time so i'm gonna go fix some lunch i bought a new printer for the kids so i'm gonna put that together um i got like four or five printers total but one of them went out on me a little bit like it's not working like it's supposed to and instead of going through trying to figure out if it's this 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 that and that then hey i'm gonna go ahead and buy another one and i bought one and it arrived so i'm gonna go ahead and put that together today um i bought a kid some school supplies for next year so i'll also show you some things that i got on sale um what i do for, like for school supplies y'all i buy them in advance like I don't wait till the year of to buy the school supplies for that year because I buy them on sale. I buy them on clearance. I buy everything when they knock. The price is marked all the way down. <laughs> um, just to kind of let you guys know, if you go to Walmart, Walmart is running sales on a lot of stuff. Pull-ups. I don't even let my kids. It's only one in diapers, which is cupcake. I don't let I don't let them wear pull-ups. But if anyone on this channel uses pull-ups or don't and rather, but you don't use it because of the price, honey, go there. They got them marked all the way down, like half price. Um, none of the diapers is on sale, no wipes or nothing. But pull-ups they marked down, clothes. Whoo, they got so many markdowns on clothes. It's school supplies. Is marked down. I mean, you can walk in there and find calculators, honey. Calculators that you need for algebra one and two, honey. Calculators for high school, middle school, elementary. Um, not the dollar calculators, no. But the Texas Instruments, the expensive calculators, you can find those marked down. I mean, you can find them marked down. So, stuff like that. And then they got the binders. They got a whole bunch of stuff, folders. So what I do, I buy mine a year in advance, or I buy so much, like that one year, that, that it'll last for two years. You know? This stuff is for next year. Well, not this, but this is cupcakes. I haven't even opened this, because she already has some. But these binders right here, honey, these was 10 cents. And... Um, I got some in this bin, this small little container. I put the supplies away for next year or the year after. Uh, I had to get them some more folders. This is for next year. This hole puncher, we didn't need one, but I went ahead and got one anyway, just in case hours break. Then I won't have to worry about ordering a line. Um, I got them some mechanical pencils. Let's see how big that bin is. I filled up, look at that, with binders. I got like 10 of these up in my attic. Let's see, look at that. I got like 10 bins of these, maybe more. Ladies, that was only 10 cents. I got them in every color. So what I'm gonna make today for lunch is a quiche. Uh, it's, I haven't made a quiche in, I don't think I made one this year. But my um, 13 year old, have a taste for it so we're gonna go ahead and make that and haven't made it in a while one of their favorites they have a lot of favorites but kids is playing right now you probably hear them in the background they are playing the usual it's the weekend so don't really have anything planned like it's about to rain and it's so hot so we haven't been out i went out to one of my um my extra money making gigs early this morning and then i had to do some business business stuff early this morning so um my day starts at like 4 30 a.m five it just depends though because every day is different because sometimes i work third shift from home so it's different every day but yeah normally i'm up by 4 35 a.m so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video let y'all go ahead and see me make this quiche and y'all when this dish that i'm making it can go with anything and it's not messy you can, they can you can cut it it's a pie so you can cut it the kids can hold it you ain't got to use no silverware no if you want to and be all bougie with it then you can um but you can just pick up a pie and bite it i'm not by telling y'all the ingredients what i'll be using today 
I got my shredded cheese. I got a sharp and a mild cheddar cheese mixed in together. I've already mixed up 18 eggs and added milk. I also have my peppers and my onions already cut and uh, diced up. Um, you can cut out, cut yours however you want to, but I'll be using the 73% lean, 27% fat ground beef. Um, I have two. I may not need both, but I'm using, as you can see, six pie crusts. So when I make quiche, I have to make between six and eight pies because my kids love them to death. So we're going to get started here. Well, use a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put all my ingredients. But once these have cooked down to my own liking, so even to your own liking, then you can add the ground beef. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. Put some fruit on the side because it has eggs, ground beef. You can make diff there's different kind of quiche. Um, you can use sausage, you can use chicken, you can get creative. Now that I have both ground beef, rolls of ground beef in, I'm going to go ahead and stir these and combine the peppers, the onions, and stir the ground beef until it's done. I'm seasoning it after I drain the oil because I don't want the seasons, the seasonings to go out with it. So I'm going to actually season it once I drain it. I didn't already drain my grease. I drained it about halfway. I drained it twice, about halfway cooking it. And I drained it after it was done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some black pepper for my seasoning. Gourmet burger seasoning that I like. And salt. My kids don't care for too much seasoning, but I like to season it up. Start out with these first two pie crusts, and it is if you can make your own pie crust, go ahead and do it. But um, I went ahead and got frozen ones, it's very easy to make your own pie crust. But these are not done, so what I'm going to do is take a fork and make some lines in it and put it in the oven for a little bit. slide these in the oven they don't need to be too done because you're going to put them right back in the oven so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and take some of my hamburger meat and just scoop some in there So they are all done guys. And this is how we eat ours. Um, sometimes you can go ahead and add shredded cheese, more cheese on top and start them back in the oven for a little bit longer. But here's one, two, y'all know I cooked six of them, three. So my son is taking the rest of them out of the oven for me. Four. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna cut into one after it cools off and show y'all. So y'all, I eat a little bit weird. I could actually cook me some spinach and put it right on top. Mm -hmm. Spinach and cheese. Or I could just cut a slice and cook spinach separately, put some cheese on top. But you can serve anything with this, y'all. My kids love it. My kids love it. I'm cutting it too hot, so I hope it don't fall apart. 
piece is like. This is the way it looked like. So, I started opening it. And I was like, you know what? Let me open it on a video. Whew. I bought a cannon. I bought um I bought this this van, um this brand. I'm getting ready to try um a different one. I found a bigger printer that I like, like a more professional one since I gotta print out so many, so much work for my kids, for my business, all that. I have a business printer though, separate from their stuff. And then I have a printer for the older ones to print off their stuff. They have their own printers to go to their computer in the room. So, so everybody won't be um, waiting on each other, you know. So the oldest ones, I got printers, I got a separate printer for my business. And then they got a printer, two printers downstairs in the classroom where we do schoolwork at um, most of the time. And then my oldest ones got there, I don't know if I said, my oldest ones got a printer themselves as well. So I gotta be real quick with this. I gotta get ready to start my work from home job. Like I said, I'm gonna gotta do four hours tonight. That's what I signed up for. And I still gotta run. I think my kids said I was out of juice. So I gotta run to the store and get some juice. I need to do a grocery haul, but I'm trying to like use up everything I got. I also gotta buy, one of my deep freezers went out. I think all my appliances is breaking at the same time. So, thankfully my other deep freezer still had room in it and I transferred the food into that one. So I'm gonna have to buy another one. Just like the one paper coming out? Mm-mm. Because my man put no paper in it. When do I open it? Hmm? When do I open it? Uh, it's just the ink. Oh, uh, so the ink's moving. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just like the other one, baby. Out. The other mm -hmm. one don't say it's the So every time the printer moves, it, it's going to print, the paper going to print out? Mm -hmm. You just want the ink? Yeah, every time yeah. the ink moves. Mm -hmm. so. Well, every time the ink moves, it's putting ink on the paper. So when the ink moves back and forth, it's putting the ink on the paper. Oh, and, and, and then, and then and the paper bones start coming out. Mm -hmm. How do you see this? Where is this one? Get your fingers with your mouth, baby. It's a piece to the, um, to the ink. Look at that. It looks like paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I came home, 
Um, now, well, I went to Family Dollar, got them some juice, and I got enough, um, like for a few days, because I like to go to Walmart and get my juice. It's cheaper. I get, you know, apple juice for like 144 or, you know, the big jug of juicy juice that they like. I like to get that, or the big jug of juice of the cranberry juice, they like that, so. Family Dollar, their price is, is a rip off. But um, then I went by the park to take the kids to the park. It was only 30 minutes before my shift. Um, so I was starting. Then I got like 15 minutes left. So I'm just waiting. I'm about to print them out some things to do while I'm working. Um, it's a weekend, so it's laid back, relaxed day for them. But I like to, they like to stay busy too, so I'll print them out some coloring worksheets. They love to do homework, so I'll get them some math, something. Um, I still get them work on the weekend for fun, so they love it. Stop, baby. But um, just close that up, honey. Okay. Thank you. Five-year-old colored. She colored look all in the lines. She colored so good. She colored so good. 